What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's eight-game NBA main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com and presented by Superdraft. Today, we've got ourselves one game that stands above the rest, which could end up as one of Vegas' highest projected scoring games of the year. We've also got a bunch of other interesting matchups to hit on, so let's keep some positivity in the air. And right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus, courtesy of Superdraft, like the video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. We did have a winner from yesterday who will announce a little bit later on in the video. But right now, if you want to win that free month, like the video and comment your top value play down below. You know the drill by now. We've got no time to waste here in the four corners, so let's get to our first corner, the top owned play, starting with LaMarcus Aldridge in a match back Golden State, in which there are 115 implied points for San Antonio. Aldridge has 41% expected ownership on draft takes, while I have 27% on FanDuel. Aldridge looks popular once again, but in a more logical pace up spot versus Golden State with no Jante Murray in the lineup, and a hideous 115.1 defensive efficiency rating for Golden State across from him. It also looks like Jeremy Lamb will be popular in a match versus Cleveland in which there are 110.3 implied points for Indiana. Lamb will have 41% expected ownership on DraftKings while he'll have 28% on FanDuel. Lamb should find extra usage thanks to Miles Turner on the sidelines with a 26% usage rate and 34 minutes in his last game. And the main risk for Lamb is likely a slow-paced match with both Indiana and Cleveland playing at a 101 pace. And it looks like Kemba Walker versus the Knicks should also find some ownership with a 111.3 implied total for Boston. Kemba will have 20 9% expected ownership on DraftKings while have 30% on FanDuel. Kemp projects well with a 28% usage rate on the year in his last two games over 49 fantasy points, including 51.75 fantasy points versus the Knicks just last week. And now let's talk about some of the top value plays, starting with Frank Natilakina in the matchup versus Boston, in which there are 101.3 implied points for the Knicks. But now we all know how Frankie Smokes can be fizzdaled and lose minutes, but he's a projected starter at a near minimum price, and he could capitalize on the opportunity while opening up the litany of high price studs you'll want tonight. And once again, Rashawn Holmes versus Utah looks like a good value play with the 104.3 implied points for Sacramento. Holmes started last game as Dwayne Debman basically left the rotation, and while it's a brutal spot versus Utah, Holmes has been so effective, and he played 35 minutes in his last game, with a chance of his energy balancing out what Rudy Gobert does best. And Derek White at Golden State also looks pretty good with the 115 implied total for San Antonio. White projects for 30 minutes thanks to DeJounte Murray sitting out in a big pace-up spot, going against a Golden State team with really poor defense across the board. And now into our next corner of the game, Sacks, and this is a really key one, Houston at Brooklyn in a game which there are insane 243 combined points projected by Vegas. Neither team plays defense. Both teams average over 120 points per game. Both teams play with pace and guys like James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Kyrie Irving are all still too cheap for a game that could be a bar murder, much like Houston's game versus Washington. And a much more off the radar game sack would be Detroit at Chicago in a game in which there are 216 combined points. Both teams have a 109 defensive efficiency rating and while the pace isn't great, there are reasonable prices and guys who could reach their ceilings like Andre Drummond going at Chicago's high 52% rebound rate allowed and Zach Levine with his 28% usage and nobody should be able to defend him for Detroit. And I'm also intrigued by a game stack of that San Antonio game at Golden State in which there are 223 combined points. Golden State somehow keeps this close to San Antonio on a road back-to-back. -back. You can see highly effective games from LaMarcus Aldridge and DeMar DeRozan with lots of value plays for Golden State who need to soak up some of the 32% usage rate that Steph Curry leaves behind. And now into our last corner of the dart throws on the slate and let's talk about Alec Burks in that matchup versus San Antonio in which there are 108 implied points for Golden State. Burks hit the court the second that Steph Curry went out and he played all the time before the blowout group came in, and Burks has shown an ability to thrive in situations where there's usage to be soaked up. And for a more expensive dart throw is Anthony Davis in the matchup at Dallas, in which there are 109 implied points for the Lakers. Davis projects for under 5% ownership with popularity going to other high-priced guys, but Dallas will have an extremely hard time defending him, despite the expected low pace in the game. And I also like Spencer Dinwiddie in that matchup versus Houston, in which there are 119.5 implied points for Brooklyn. Dinwiddie has a shockingly high 31% usage rate to start the year, and everyone gets buckets versus Houston with their 115.3 defensive efficiency rating, which should be a very high-paced matchup. So there you have it. That's what I'm seeing so far for tonight's eight-game slate. So right now, please hit that like button. And if you want to win a free month of Osmo Plus courtesy of Superdraft, like the video and comment your top value play according to DraftKings salaries down below. Yesterday, Jaleel Okafor was the top value play as we hoped in the four corners and a lot of you guys guessed him correctly, but only one of you can win and it's going to be this guy right here, Cedric Williams, who picks up the win for Jaleel Okafor. So Cedric, email me at chris at osmo.com to collect your prize. For everybody else out there, if you want to win your own free month, like the video and comment your top value play on today's slate down below. And if you don't want to wait for that free month, you can also use this promo code Switch and Hedge for half off your first month of Osmo Plus. Get all the ownership projections and player projections and find packages as low as $3.95 a week. So go to Osmo.com slash join right now and find a package that'll work for you. Go follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Chris Spags. I've got content coming out across the NFL and NBA today. Got 
on the contrary tomorrow my personal podcast which you all should be checking out you should spend so much time with me so go check me out on twitter and instagram at chris Spags. i'll be back on live before lock later today with the chubster josh engelman so tune in then i'll be back with you guys on monday with another four corners so thank you guys for watching hope you all have a great weekend and of course good luck